as the guy said on the radio. Ooh, hang on, what's this? Ah, here we go. Let there be light. This is power enough to open that up. Oh shit, he's changed to use already. Alright. Give me a sec. Come on, stop being silly. Ah, okay. It's not letting me manually eject it, so I've got to do it all sneaky like, don't I? Eject. Thank you. Just have to do a little bit of an override there. Here comes disc one. There we go. Pop that back on there. Right. Disc two should be loaded. No Dropbox. No, I don't want you to uh, do anything with that. Silly. Yeah. Alright. Uh, player removal devices, CD settings, physical drive, F. Okay. Something's not right here. All right, let's see if that'll do it. There we go. Disk two is loaded. Okay, now I can go through the doors now. Excellent. There you go, just that tiny little detail. Solar cells power the lighting of a ship. Amazing. It still works. Why would you even bother closing it? Doesn't make sense. Oh wow, there's a whole bit back here. This probably goes outside? No, because that, that'll be an outlock. This goes... down into the depths of the ship. Way down into the... Uh, undercarriage, as it were. Yes, as I, as I thought, you come at this from a different, different direction. Which means that the power should be around here somewhere. Door, this thing. Alright. Don't know what that did, if anything. Excellent, we're here at the other side now. So, we've got something there, and something here. Well, let's check out this one first. Solar Voltaic Circuits. Okay, that probably wasn't a good thing. Okay. Ah, here we go. Hello, carriage. How's it going? Okay, so that was that. So this must be the nuclear power. AIV sequencer. Oh, okay, that sent it away. No, come back. I didn't mean it. Oh. Come back. I won't push that button again. I promise. I promise I won't send you away ever again. You are my sunshine. And I'm guessing this won't do anything because there's no... Yeah. Eh, warning. The ship will now self-destruct. Atrium injectors ventricle. There's nothing down, so I guess we go out. That pulls the ladder. And that drops it down. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we push this. Oh, I see, it actually deploys the ladder. Interesting. Man, these things. They really aren't designed to be uh, run for this long without any sort of maintenance. I'm amazed that A, that it looks this good, B, that it works at all and hasn't just exploded in a huge uh, mushroom cloud. 
So, what are we up to down here? Hmm. What indeed? Ah, yeah, this is something. What do we have then? Virus Enterprise is limited. Work order number one. Please check and initial upon completion. Huh! <laughs> Realign rocket launcher. May must can be inadvertently targeted. Fix it. I think he finds a flare launcher, not a rocket launcher. Um, Turkish bath fountain is not displaying correct ratios for the heaters. Passenger G Thurman complains of low temperature in vaporium. Increased temperature to heal heaters to 40 degrees. Alright. Well, that's not too helpful. And anything else we can do? No. Alright, well, that's probably a clue, so I will. Uh, Jet note down 40 degrees C in the uh, vape orium and the bath fountain uh, ratios. Though they've both been ticked, so. Yeah, nah. Good thing I never got around to fix that thing. Oh, excuse me. Or I would be toast. Come on, game. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Uh, I think we need to move this uh, garage. Who so, else? This. Ah, here we go. So this has moved us across to a sub point, as indicated on here. So let's. Okay, well, I'm guessing that's a good thing. Uh, let's go drop that down. Spinchy forward. Pop the bipper. Uh. Alright. Man, nuclear power's never been so easy. Push that. Uh, oh, sickening. Uh, nope, we're still exactly where we were. Put down. Uh, so, do I now push. Yeah, push this one to keep going backward, right? No, it's just turn me around. Okay. We pop that thing and then bit the left one to bring it back. Yes. Right, what have you got now? Ah, no, another one of these. Alright. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Uh, uh, then I bought this one to go forward. And then bought this one again to turn around. Bought this one to go backward. Man, this is complicated. I know, I, I'm guessing those blue screens are a good thing. Because it's not what they were before. Uh, how do I get out? Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, where are you going? I didn't tell you to leave. Well, really. Alright, can we now use this thing? Yes. Power online. Shields up, Captain. Engines to fall. Damn fool. An embarrassment. All my time, all my money wasted on your foolish ideas. The machine will work. It doesn't have to end like this. They're all worthless anyway. Let me use them to prove our work. Father, try to understand. In the dream world, Claire and I are... I will not let you sacrifice her innocence to your demented fantasies. You could have killed her! The Neurographicon failed you, and you failed me. It's over, Jan. Forget about Claire and this daydream. Maybe if you had been born differently, misjudged your abilities. We're heading back to New York. Wow. 
lighting the furnace seems to have fully awakened the ghosts aboard Herculaneum. Well, as he just said, we certainly seem to be in the middle of it now, don't we? I wonder if this will do something now. Hmm, no idea. Still, with power online, we can finally make some real progress. Let's get out of the engine room. We're not Scotty anymore. Now we're being promoted to... Uh, we're not quite a wharf yet. Okay, we're Wesley Crusher. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's saying Wesley Crusher's above Scotty. That's probably going please, please don't comment that. Uh, people will be very angry if I make that action. Ooh, what do we have here then? J.C. Farris. I guess this is some sort of lock. Cool. Alright. So, let me just get a page. J.C. Paris. Lock. So I imagine we're going to find these patterns around town. And I guess this will be someone else's. Yan. Oh, Yan, Yan, Yan. Yan. Paris. Lock. Down. Very good. Let us save the game. Thank you. Thank you. So what do we have here? Looks like some sort of theater. What's playing? Ghostbusters? Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Hey. Ah, okay. Spiritualists have known about an unseen power source for centuries. But the art of physics has been unable to prove its existence until now. Finally, science has exposed the strangest of ironies. Beyond death lies an energy source able to extend life. A lifeline into that energy has at last been built. The Neurographicon. The machine is a conduit between life and death tapping an infinite source of vitalizing power. Voyagers will enter dream cocoons and inject personalized serums into specific receptacles. The serums will then travel to the master capsule, where they will be metabolized by the dream master. The dream master initiates a transformation that immerses the master capsule and a special healing pod into a world of curative energy. The mechanics of the Neurographicon then allow the Dream Master to retrieve the assisting voyages from beyond the gates of death, their journeys having made possible this miraculous revitalization. Yeah, because that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? What's this one say then? Jan Farris, the inventor of the Neurographicon, opens ties to his past and invites six special individuals to be guests on this groundbreaking scientific adventure. Leo Galt, the renowned Irish boxer, cut short a return trip to Ireland in order to participate in the masterful plan of his biological son, Jan, whom he hasn't seen in over 25 years. What a proud father he must be. Belle Swan is Jan's natural mother. After entrusting her son to the Goodman Home for Boys, she pursued her childhood dream of becoming a famous stage performer. Highly regarded exotic dancer will grace us with an encore of her signature number, Salome's Seven Veils. Mrs. Swan is accompanied by her beautiful stepdaughter, Claire Moon. Claire, unfortunately crippled as a result of polio, is chosen to be the first to reap the benefits of the Neurographicon. Vaccinate your kids. Billy Mexler a childhood chum of Jan's from the Goodman home, was surprised to learn his friend would soon make history. Mr. Mexler must be glad to see his roommate succeed. Grace Thurman, once the headmistress of the Goodman home, oversaw the adoption of Jan to J.C. Farris. Both Farris's are indebted to her for making their dreams come true. John Mallerby, the esteemed herbal therapist, will assist Jan by preparing serums 
terrible lab for the passengers. Dr. Mallory is Jan's personal physician. He and Jan have grown quite close over the years. This voyage would be incomplete without him. Well, isn't that a shady cast of characters? I mean, if you remember that opening sequence, none of these guys seem to be particularly popular in Jan's book. Let's see what we've got up next. Dr. John Mallaby unlocks tribal secrets. After arriving at the island of Baharu, located 100 miles west of Sumantra, and after recovering from a most unfortunate bout of dysentery, nice. I arrived at the village of the Kailigi. The Kailigi perform a religious ritual, Kuala Saliki Hiatu, or Dreams of the Dead, a ceremony of physical and spiritual healing. In the ritual, six slaves are bled into a ceremonial bowl so the shaman of the tribe may create his healing elixir. The serum is prepared with extractions of black orchid, the rare valley orchid, and another substance whose origin will remain a secret. This concoction allows the shaman, and in this case, the gravely ill daughter of the tribal chief, to share a common hallucinogenic state. The shaman's mystical influence shields the girl from physical harm. The shaman forces the others to take the elixir. A profound effect can soon be seen on the unprotected as they fall into a death-like trance. Throughout the night, spirits of the dead haunt the village and the surrounding forest. In the morning, the shaman and his acolyte emerge from the sacred hut. They appear in every physical aspect, stronger and healthier, while those whose blood sacrifice has enabled this miracle of healing have completed their journeys into darkness. What did I just say? What did I just say? Alright, one more movie box. Yeah. No, no. Eh. Eh. Come on. Thank you. Julenia, the luxury yacht of the century. Set to sail November 17, 1928. Herculania promises to herald a new age of scientific achievement. Millionaire shipbuilder Jonathan Cleveland Farris has spared no expense in accommodating the first passenger. Spared no expense. Mr. Farris has entrusted his adopted son, Jan, with every arrangement. Young Mr. Farris has gone to great lengths to personalize the ship for his guests. Each passenger will select a three-digit stateroom code he will be sure to remember. The Farrises have also acquired the help of Dr. John Mallerby, an herbal therapist. He will make personalized serums which provide each passenger access to a unique experience. Three digit codes, huh? Alrighty, righty. So, let's go into the movie theater. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be Ghostbusters, but in this case it may well actually be Jurassic Park. Ooh, hang on, what's this? It's a postcard of a, what, medical facility? Dear Uncle Eki, this ship is grand. I met the young inventor of the Neurographicon. Though Jan's appearance is at first shocking, there seems to be something. <laughs> he promises I'll dance tonight at the mass ball. Having a swell time. Wish you were here. Love, Claire. If this thing were that powerful, come on, she must have lost a lot of motor control. Alright, uh, well, let's see what's playing, shall we? Jurassic Park, we spared no expense. Cinematone News! 1928 News Flashes from Around the World! Balloon Expedition sets out across the Arctic! Graf Zeppelin makes first New York trip! Bucky Lindy returns home, a hero. Commander Ted
Teddy Holmes, fish oil magnate and newly inducted member of the Explorers Club, yearns to be the first to cross the Arctic ice cap by balloon. Stick to the social scene, Mr. Holmes, because your ideas are full of hot air. Uh-oh. Whilst I was playing, I was just thinking, um, there's the guests and the captain and his son, yet there are so many chairs. So, so many chairs. Why are there so many chairs? <clears throat> anyway. Let us depart the theatre. We have a look. We have what happened to them? Why are they condemned to haunt this ship? We have learned all that we can from here. I doubt we're going to get any passcodes in the near future. Uh, sure, let's try this. Ooh, it's an elevator. 